it is your very, very first time going and take it easy. Yo! Good morning, people. So, we're checking out the hotel. It's always a sad, a sad, sad time when you have to leave and check out. But there's still more to do because our flight's not until the evening. So, suitcases, that's why the noise is here. So, apologies in advance if you can't hear me. But, um, originally, uh, we didn't quite know what to do because it was going to be the last day. We were checking out. It was just going to be seeing the sites we haven't seen yet, do a bit of shopping, um, and then head back to the airport. But, God willing, the weather is actually not too bad. So, uh, we thought of something spontaneous on the spot. We've booked it. We are running 15 minutes late for the reservation. As you do. And then, um, but you'll see what I've done, or what we've done, in just a second. Thanks a lot. Right, 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 right. So, Mr. Vi, obviously. Mr. Vi, piss off. You did the same thing too. Right. <laughs> so, yeah, now we've got the car set up in English. Yeah. A little longer than a few minutes later. No, you got to reverse that. Bruv, what kind of cars do they think they're driving up in Germany to be doing tight turns like this, though? Come on now. But you can tell someone's lost their excess <laughs> before even getting out of the car park. <laughs> All right, guys. So this is something I've always wanted to do in Germany because it's a big, big thing. It's actually driving on the autobahn. Um, so we planned this when we were in London. But uh, as you can see from the past two videos, the weather has been so whack. Um, we didn't want to risk it because uh, we would you know, drive pretty slow. So. Uh, we left it at that and thought, okay, what else can we do on a Sunday? We're packing, we're leaving, we want to take advantage as much as we can. We wake up, on the other hand, um, and the weather is actually not too bad. It's not too hot, but it's not too cold either, and it's dry roads as well. Um, so we're taking this car for a spin. It's a 2020 Golf. Um, everything is brand new about it, from the dash to the seats to even the, uh, the logo in the back, which you will see in just a second. The only thing you've got to get used to, obviously, if you've never driven on um, left-hand drive, it's first of all the seat belt, uh, because naturally, uh, I'll have to stop anyway. So if you look at me, right? So the first thing that you do when on, on the right-hand side, you naturally go, okay, seat belt. Oh sh! Was a seat belt. So uh, that's this is the first thing on the left-hand side. Um, and normally when I drive, I always drive like this, one hand, right? And obviously left. But it's Which is bad driving technique. No, we're not. Two. We're not promoting that. <laughs> ten, ten and two, boys and girls. No. Um, but yeah, now it has to be the other way around. So aside from that, everything else pretty much the same. Uh, if you're getting a brand new car, literally spend about ten to fifteen minutes. Just sit down. Make sure you get everything right. So um, it, even though we did spend about a good twenty minutes in the car park figuring all of this out, it was a good investment. Now we know um, how to work everything because you don't want to go midway through and be like, oh, shit, how do I do this? Um, so yeah, no, that's it. Accelerates so quick. So right now I'm doing about 96. Six. Yeah, not bad. Coming up to about 100. All right, now we're hitting about coming up to where are we in? 120. I'm at 121 and above. So 120 is the equivalent of about 75. Yeah. 
Because uh, 110 is about 70. Speed limit off. That's it. Look at my dashboard. Yeah. It says unlimited speed. There we go. So we pulled over, Vi. How do you feel? <laughs> oh, if I haven't already pissed myself. Nah, I'm joking. Um, no, I need to go to the bathroom. But um, no, it felt amazing to do. Um, since it was actually my first time driving on the left-hand side, it was a tad difficult because I kept, as I, as I was saying, I kept veering slightly to the right. So the more speed that you have, any, any form of turn that you do feels like a very sharp turn. Um, so you've got to be very, very conscious of that. So what I'm going to do, uh, the max speed, I went back through the footage, max speed I reached was 191. The aim is 200. Um, I'm going to see if I can try and reach it before we have to head back to the airport. So, quick splash and dash. And 200 kilometers per hour is coming. Let's go. Where are we? Uh, we're somewhere in between the airport and the motor. We're just off the motorway, M10 or A10. Uh, so we decided let's get the drone out, let's see some what shots we get. Okay. So, that's what we see. Sorry, 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 sorry. Oh, oh, bro, duh. Hey everyone, Mo here. As you can see from the scene before, I just crashed the drone into someone's car, and now I don't know what's more broken, the drone or Shaq's ACO. They never got torn ACO. Honestly, I can't leave any bit of tech or equipment nearby because I know he's just gonna end up breaking it. Lesson learned for next time. Anyways, because of their shenanigans and because they were running so late, they completely forgot to film an outro and that's why I'm here. I'm not there for one trip and these guys just crumble without me. Vi didn't hit 200 on the Autobahn, but he does promise for next time he will hit 200 and hopefully I can be there as well. Ooh, my name's Vi and I live in the fast lane. Ooh. <laughs> Anyways guys, if you made it this far into the video, don't forget to like, subscribe, share, hit the notification bell so you guys get an update on our future videos and comment down below and let us know which part of the video you liked and where we should go next time. Thank you all so much for watching. We'll catch you guys in the next video and peace! Alright, um, you know what? Should I do a supercar blondie? Yeah, go for it! <laughs> Alright guys, so I've been given a rare opportunity to get my hands on the new 2020 Golf. One of 20 million to be made. And I have the honor to review one of these. So come, come, come with me, come with me. So, first of all, new sign, new logo, right in the middle. Amazing, okay? And if you come around here, come around here. A new key to unlock, very simple. And a keyless start right here. Okay, first of all, sign right here. Volkswagen at brand new 2020. We open the door right here, and as you can see, if you come around here for me, 
that was not part of the show. Okay, so this is all brand new. 2020. We have buttons over here to dictate uh, the amount of air that you want from the vending. I was gonna say vending machine. <laughs> anyway, from the vents. Okay. And to start it, it's all very simple. As long as the key is in the car, all you have to do is just press. Hold on to the clutch. Oh shit! I should have done this without bag. Oh, it gives me the perfect opportunity to show you the amount of space in the new 2020 Golf. As you can see here, cheap, cheap material. Amazing. Come around here for me. New car smell. Hold on to the clutch, and there we go. The start is very. The engine is running. Don't worry about that. It's fine. Let me shut the door. And that is the new 2020 Golf. Don't forget to follow Three Man Abroad, and I'll see you on the next episode where I review a 2004 Polo. See you later.